wanna take a chance? Star is a commanding figure. He calls himself the General, and he has all the demeanor of a circus ringmaster. Despite all the gimmickry, Star's young prodigies seem to believe in him. We're in show business, and that's what it's all about, you know, being, being, having all this on and, and, and having, you know, something fun to, you know, play with, and, and, it, and it's just fun. He's given me an opportunity to, you know, entertain millions and millions of people, but, and I, and I thank him for that. Star plucked the new kids out of some of Boston's rougher neighborhoods. He admits they were only marginally talented then, but Maurice had a plan. He worked with them and developed a sound, a look, and an act. Star served as the new kid's manager, principal songwriter, record producer, and overall coach. Let's hear it for, 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 for the new kids. Today, Star has loosened his grip a bit on the new kids. They're writing and producing some of their own music. But according to industry sources, Star is part owner in Dick Scott Entertainment, taking 20% of new kid earnings. Star also owns Big Step Productions, which earns him as much as 50% of the licensing revenues generated by New Kid merchandise. Did you have any idea that they were going to be this big? I had the idea that they would be this big, yes. But the only thing I did not have the idea about is we would have so many things merchandised. Uh, that I did not, I will not lie to you, because there's over 500 different, there's dolls, there's buttons, pants, there's, there's everything, pillows, there's all kinds of stuff. No, I, that I didn't know, but I knew they would be this big. Star's critics charged he's exploiting the new kids to make money for himself. I don't think so. I, I think um, the, the kids are really getting what they want. It's like, uh, of course I've made money, but I'm not one who really even cares about money. You know, the success and the history means more to me. But Starr hasn't always enjoyed financial success. He grew up here in the poor, rough Roxbury area of Boston. Maurice and his brothers dreamed of being the next Jackson 5. Maurice idolized Michael Jackson. But Starr and his brothers never did make it big. I was disappointed that I had not made it myself. Um, but I, I, I was never a selfish person. Starr has gone on to share what he knows about the music business with others, and his success has transformed his life. But his roots are still in Roxbury. In fact, the new kids record here in Star's old house. But Maurice recently bought a new home in the affluent Brookline section of Boston. Star's career has been a roller coaster ride. His first success was with the black teenage group New Edition. Shortly after their first hit, they dumped Maurice, claiming he took too big a cut. That wasn't true at all, because, uh, um, I mean, a lot of people say that. It, it, it was a pretty sizable cut, but I never got the money. Do you have any bitter feelings or sad feelings about that? Uh, well, not really. Not really. I, th I think uh, today I'm very happy for him, more than anything. You know, I've been successful. Why should I have bitter feelings? You know, um, I, I, my success is probably ten times bigger than theirs. Maurice Starr is easily the most arrogant person I've ever met. When he first came up, he thought he was great. He had new addition, he thought he was great. New addition left him, he had a very long down period, he thought he was great. He's got new, new kids, he thinks he's great. Maurice has always thought he was great. I mean, you know, what can you say about a guy who's got that much confidence? Of course, we got new kids on the block. But I think that, uh, that Maurice is a talented guy who's uh, aggressively trying to promote himself by building and producing acts much like General Motors produces cars. You know, he's, he's slamming these things together and getting them out in front of the public and um, hoping they work. He's a manufacturer. Star admits that his acts are manufactured. He also admits that raw talent has very little to do with the success of his product. Oh, yeah. Definitely takes more than talent. And probably the key is probably more marketing and promotion than anything. Today, Star is promoting new acts. After all, he realizes the new kids won't be around forever. His latest find, 13-year-old Chris Pittman. If you can give me that. also has Perfect Gentlemen, three young men that includes his son and next-door neighbor. And Rick West, a shy 17-year-old who says he's never had any real interest in performing before, but Star is nonetheless billing him as the next Elvis Presley. These newest kids are just hoping Maurice Star's magical touch stays alive. But Star says, don't worry, they don't call him the general for nothing. Why am I the general? Because I'm the man to get the job done. <laughs>